Well, good news and it's official. Total listings last week went up by 19%. But you bought them all. Hi, Rick McCon here with the XP Realty. Do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't put you on a mailing list. It just lets you know whenever I add new content. And if I get to a thousand subscribers, magic things happen. Hit that little like button too. Tell your friends, let's get those subscribers up there. So what happened? Well, as you know, we got an inventory shortage. It's unbelievable. Even though last week, total listings went up 19%, we whittled right back down to a record low today. 8,346 homes, unbelievable. Are we gonna run out of houses? And buyers, what's the rush? I get it, interest rates are low, and people are going out and they're overpaying for houses. Now, if you're a seller, sell. I mean, you're gonna get top dollar for your home right now, but this is a temporary blip. And here's where I'm gonna compare housing right now. Let me know if this resonates with you. Here's what I'm gonna compare houses to today. Toilet paper. Remember that fiasco? Remember when none of the stores had toilet paper? Remember that you went to go buy toilet paper even though you had enough? Why did you do that? Because everybody else was. I have enough toilet paper in my bathroom to laugh, last through several bad gastro episodes. Why? Because the 84 pack was the only thing that was left when I went to Costco. And I went out just to get a little four pack roll. But when everybody's out doing things and you're looking at the data and saying, we've sold more houses in May than we've done in, you know, since, since last year and, and house prices are going up, people start jumping in, it's herd mentality. They just wanna go out because they feel left out. The most prudent thing to do right now is just sit back and wait for that inventory number to come up because it's trying to. It's trying to come up and people are scooping them up. And people are kind of getting in trouble with appraisals. They're writing contracts and saying, um, I'm gonna give you 50,000 above your asking price and if it doesn't appraise for that, I'll make up the difference and it's in the contract. Well, guess what? It doesn't appraise for that and you gotta come up with another $40,000 or $50,000. That's not the way you wanna buy a house right now. So why am I constantly on my high horse right now telling people to wait? Because I think it's probably the best advice in a frenzied market. Bad decisions are made when everybody's trying to get the same piece of the pie at the same time. And it's never a permanent situation. You have time to wait. Unless you have to move tomorrow, you have time. You have time to see this through. If our listings went up by 19% last week, it looks like it's happening again this week too because we're getting listings coming on at about 4,000 units a week now. That's a great number. We were only doing about 2,700. So we were getting about 2,700 listings coming on, and then we were selling 34. So this week we got 4,000 listings that came up, and we sold 4,400 of them. So the buying activity is getting a little frothy out there. They're really starting to come on board. But in the past two weeks, mortgage applications have dropped. That's an indicator that the buyer pool may start to shrink here. So that's a good reason for you to kind of sit back and take stock of the situation and get ready when those numbers start to balance out. Because when they balance out, interest rates are still gonna be low. You're gonna get a great price on a house. Prices might come down, might come way down from where they are today, and you can still get in at a lower rate. Or, or you can sit back and look and go, I overpaid by by about thirty, forty thousand dollars on this house. I think waiting is a better position to be in. But tell me what you think in the comments below right after you click the subscribe button. Mm -hmm.